for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you how to read the complete reinforcement details of beam sections column section foundation section by using stat pro software and how to print that particular final output in autocad software okay so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done the analysis process and designing process for the building structure so initially i will show you the plan for the respected building structure so that you can able to understand the uh, concepts okay so here i am selecting my plan so now you can see this is the building plan of the apartment structure which, which is consisting of four flats in each floor so basically the building plan will be consisting of a, a 2 bhk section on the first flat 2 bhk right side and 2 bhk left side bottom and 2 bhk right side bottom okay so i will show you the uh, 3d model which i was developed by using stat pro software so click on this option this is the uh, 3d model which i was developed for this respected software so again uh, i will show you the properties which is generally considered for this building so here i am selecting the property for this building i was taken the plate thickness which is consisting of 150 mm and uh, column size i was taken 0 0.69 cross 0 0.23 and beam size i was taken 0 0.46 cross 0 0.23 and uh, and lift provision beams is approximately 0 0.3 cross 0 0.3 so after analysis process completed after designing process completed we need to check the reinforcement details okay so here i am selecting post to processing mode option click on apply option click on okay okay now we have to select this uh, uh, selection of the beam section just i am deselecting the uh, deflection diagram so here i am selecting this particular beam section now you can see for this beam it is consisting of the reinforcement values here like this in the same process if i want to select the another beam you can select the front view click on this option select to view option so click on ok option so here i am selecting the beam cursor option okay so here i am selecting the reinforcement diagram which is comes under this particular last section line okay so here i am selecting this beam so click on the concrete design now you can see for this respected beam which is consisting of approximately uh, 4.76 meter length it is consisting of 6 bars of 10 mm diameter bar at the top reinforcement section and uh, 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section so this is the first beam reinforcement details so in order to print this particular reinforcement details into pdf format you can directly click on this print option okay so you can click on ok option here so that it will ask you to where you want to save the file just i am selecting here as results option okay so here i am selecting b1 which is nothing but the beam one reinforcement details so that it will uh, print the reinforcement details which is comes under the b1 in the same process i am selecting the b2 section concrete design reinforcement so click on the print option so here i am selecting ok option here again i am selecting here as b2 option in this particular same line again in the same process we have to select the beam 3 just i am selecting the beam 3 option here so click on the print option so click on ok option so again i am giving the name is p3 option in the same process i am selecting the beam 4 so click on print option so click on ok option again i am selecting here as b4 option here so again last one which is comes under this particular line so click on the print option here again click on ok option again i am selecting b5 option here okay now i will show you the reinforcement details in the pdf format so further select the results option just i am selecting the b1 so now we can see this is the b1 reinforcement details which is comes under this particular section so now you can see it was saved in the pdf format itself you can directly print this particular beam reinforcement details for the individual section so this is the stat pro results which is done for the respected beam number of 1528 design code will be of is456 2000 codal provision so it will be consisting of 6 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section 4 bars of uh, 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section again it will be consisting of your respected uh, stirrups like 15 uh, numbers of 8 mm diameter which is placed at 150 center to center distance okay again this is the design load and this is the design parameter for this respected consideration okay so this is the complete process of uh, how to uh, uh, print the particular b1 so again in the same process it is also consisting of b2 reinforcement details you can directly print this particular value to the uh, a4 size sheet so this is the reinforcement details which is comes under the b2 again i am selecting b3 section so now we can see this is the b3 section reinforcement details which is consisting of 3 bars of 12 mm diameter at the top and 2 bar, 3 bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom again it will be consisting of 7 number of the 8 mm diameter bar which which is of 150 center to center distance for the stirrups again this is the b4 reinforcement details 
So again, last one is related to the B5 reinforcement details. So this is the complete process of beam reinforcement. Now I will explain you how to print the results which is comes under the column section. So for that, just I am selecting whole structural model. Just I am selecting this particular column. Okay. So click on the concrete design. Now you can see it is consisting of the column one here. Okay. So click on print option. Click on OK option. Just I am selecting here as column one, which is related to the ground floor column. Okay. Which is exist uh, below the plinth level. Okay. So again I am selecting next column. So click on print option. So click on OK option here. Again I am selecting C2 option. Okay. Column two option. Again I am selecting C3 option. Click on print option. So click on OK option. So again we have to give the name is C3 option here. Again I am selecting this. Click on print option. Click on OK option. Again I am selecting here as C4 option. So again in the same process, this I am selecting here. So click on print option. So click on OK option. Just I am selecting here as C5 option here. Okay. Again I am selecting one more section. Double click on it. Click on print. Click on OK. Again I am selecting here as C6. Last one which is comes under the top section. So click on print. Click on OK. C7 option here. Okay. Now I will show you the column reinforcement details for the section. Okay. So here I am selecting the C1. Now you can see it will display the complete reinforcement details which is comes under this particular section. It is consisting of approximately 12 number of the 12 mm diameter bar which is cons which is exist for this 0.69 cross 0.23 column section. Again I am selecting C2 section reinforcement details. So now you can see this is the C2 section reinforcement details. Again I am selecting C3 section reinforcement details here. So this is a C3 section reinforcement details. And this is a C4 section reinforcement details. Again, it will be consisting of C5 section reinforcement details, column 5 section. Again, I'm selecting C6 reinforcement details. This is a sixth one. Again, I'm selecting the seventh one here. This is a seventh one reinforcement details for the column. So in this process, you can save the files, which is in A4 size sheet format. Now I will explain you how to save the result, which is related to the foundation section. Okay. So for that, initially, we need to do the designing process in the foundation. So I was already done the designing section. Uh, for the foundation in uh, stand foundation software initially I will open that particular foundation this time selecting uh, G plus 5 foundation section now you can see here I was already defined the sections which is comes under the isolated footing job information and I was taken the designing section so after uh, analysis process completed after defining the load combinations load sections and soil bearing capacity input values so the Foundation design will be uh, done with the designing process as per IS456-2000 codal provision here like this. So firstly, it will be consisting of the reinforcement values here like this, but it is not possible to print that particular results in this uh, stat foundation software. So that's why we initially we need to import this particular data to the uh, AutoCAD software. Okay, so for that we have the option is there, which is related to the uh, save drawing as click on the detail drawing option. So you can click on the save drawing as option. Okay. So you can save the drawing as per your name. So just I'm selecting foundation number one, F1. Let us consider just I'm saving that uh, particular foundation to DWG file format, drawing format, AutoCAD drawing format, which is of 2004. So click on save option. So now it was saved with the uh, file name of foundation one in AutoCAD software. Again, in the same process, you can click on the GA drawing option, click on save drawing as option. So here I'm selecting foundation GA drawing GA. So click on uh, select your respected AutoCAD 2004, click on save option so that it will save your respected AutoCAD software files okay, in the desktop. So I will show you that uh, files. So these are the two files which I uh, which were uh, saved in the results part. Okay, So just I will copy this particular results to the results section here. Okay, So initially I am selecting the F1 section which is uh, directly open in my AutoCAD software it will ask you the message here like this you can directly click on the continue to opening dwg file format so firstly uh, you have to delete all the layout for this respected foundation so why because we doesn't need any kind of the layout foundation format for the foundation designing section here okay so that's why just i'm selecting all the layout which is exist in this case uh, for the respected lines here again i'm deleting the directions which is comes under this category so now we have to delete all unnecessary things here so here I am selecting uh, this particular uh, top view and bottom view. This is the top view for the foundation section. And th again, this is the bottom view for the respected foundation section. Just I am moving this particular uh, plan view, which is exist on the top view for the plan. <coughs> okay, just I am selecting here. Click on enter option, move enter option. Just I am selecting uh, this corner point. So again, I am selecting this uh, R the on option. So here I am selecting this option. Let us consider 
of this particular point this time selecting here again we have the note messages which is appear on the bottom section so here i am selecting a enter option this time selecting this particular points click on enter option just i am moving this particular note to the bottom of this uh, plan section okay so click on the z enter a enter option so that it will display the foundation so after that we have to change this particular uh, layout to the some other color why because in the white sheet format it will not display any kind of the color which is comes under this blue and uh, yellow color okay that's why just we have to change that particular to remaining uh, some white color or uh, another blue color okay so here i am selecting the color option so just i am saving as per my blue color format only otherwise you can directly save as uh, your particular uh, black color so here i am selecting layout option here directly so now we can see it will show you the foundation design results you can directly save this particular model so go to click on this uh, option so click on import option okay sorry export option click on pdf option directly you can select the results folder option here just i am selecting f1 design so click on save option so that it will export the data which is comes under this foundation section uh, in the pdf format just i am selecting this f1 which is comes under the foundation design results okay so now i will zoom this particular section now we can see this is the complete foundation design reinforcement details which is comes under this uh, g plus 5 structural model which is consisting of 6 mm diameter bar which is of 55 mm center to center distance again it will be consisting of the bottom mesh which is of 10 mm diameter bar which is placed at a 70 mm center to center distance in the both x direction as well as the y direction condition case okay so this is the uh, nodes which is comes under this particular foundation design okay so by using this respective process you can save the n number of the foundations and n number of the beams and n number of the columns now i will explain you how to save the ga drawing detailing by using uh, autocad file so now we can see it is having the final ga drawing section click on continue to open option directly uh, it will open the model here like this firstly you have to uh, delete the layout which is not mandatory for this respected uh, section so here i am selecting here this time selecting here click on delete option again you can select here click on delete option click on z enter a enter option here so again we have to change the layout for this respected section so here i am selecting all this click on this option you can select to the white color just i am selecting white color otherwise you can select particular section to the blue color format also just i am changing to the blue color also so click on the layout to option so that it will save the reinforcement details here like this for the foundation click on export option click on the pdf option okay so again i am selecting ga drawing option ga click on save option okay so again we have to save this uh, see this uh, result which is comes under this ga drawing so now you can see this is a ga drawing so click on this option so that it will display the complete uh, values which is included in this particular section so which is consisting of all details of uh, foundation section and uh, column number which is exist for this respected foundation section okay so this is the complete process of how to save the final output in the pdf format for the respected building model which is developed by using uh stat pro software okay this is the beam reinforcement details and this is the column reinforcement details again in the same process it will be consisting of the foundation results and this is the ga drawing for the respected uh building structural model okay so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you